Ever since I found out there's pyramids in Egypt and in South America, like this is probably like junior high or like elementary school, I'm like, there's no way these fucking dumb ass loincloth people even <laughs> even com communicated with each other. I'm like, there has to have been a, uh, another being. Stupid fucks with wearing loincloth. Pre ship era loincloth. Yeah. Couldn't get clothes, right? Slurping water out of leaves and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um, don't mind Anthony, he's just working overtime right now. Um, signing We're autographs. signing autographs for a special group of people who buy merch. What, what? Right. So how's that work, Joe? I don't know. I got the details, hold on, no, this, this, I got the details. The people are actually excited about this. Yeah, yeah, but this video so, is gonna come out next year. No. So if you, if you enjoy the Black Friday savings on November 25th through the 29th, a hundred random orders will get a fully signed Careful Boys postcard by all six of us. Yep. Wow. So and, sure. and Anthony's signing it because he's the slowest writer here. Yeah. And we yeah. need to give him a big head you start. Do, <laughs> do you have that patience meter yet? Because <laughs> he just learned to read and write a couple years ago. <laughs> okay. No. So today, that's not what we're talking about. Today, Aww. we're talking about how wild this. Congress testimony about alien sh Hey, cool. Yes! Meep, Space meep, Force. Meep. In, in the discussions, it's it's simply about material, or is there a discussion about biologic? Yeah. It, it was previously testified that there's biologics that were collected. Are you aware of any of that? I am, sir, aware of the reporting that biologics have been recovered. Biologics. Again, yes. My focus was more nuts and bolts. Um, looking at the... the physical aspects of these phenomena and how they interacted around uh, military equities and nuclear equities. So I'm certainly not a medical expert. Um, I would not be able to probably provide you a whole lot of value in that simply because- Biologics? So what the hell is that? Was anything described as that we have possession of bodies? Yes. yes that we have possess is it multiple types of creatures or? Sir, I, I couldn't answer that. Um, I can tell you anecdotally that it was, it was um, discussed quite a bit when I was at the Pentagon. The problem is the collect, supposed collection of these biological samples occurred before my time, in fact, before I was even born. And oh, was this whoa. part of the Lockheed Martin discussion, or was this a complete, the biologist is a completely separate? Um, separate, yet related. Okay. Um, has, has anyone made contact? Come Lockheed. Sir, I'm sorry, could you specify? Has, has there been any, to your knowledge, any communication with a non-human life form? Wow. So the term communication is a bit of a trick word because uh, there's verbal communication like we're having now. Uh, the problem is you also have nonverbal communication. And so I would say definitively yes, but from a nonverbal meaning, when a Russian reconnaissance aircraft comes into U.S. airspace, we scramble two F-22s, and we are certainly communicating intent and capability. Um, I think the same goes with this. We have these things that are being observed over controlled U.S. airspace. Um, and they're not really doing a good job hiding themselves. They're making it pretty obvious they have the ability to even interfere with our, our nuclear equities and our nuclear readiness. Whoa. What the what fuck? The fuck? Uh, so, are they... That's insane. That's are they scary. fucking with the nuclear weapons? Because I saw something where, like, I think it was like a disclosure thing where a bunch yeah. of military people came out and one of them was like, yeah, they like coming over and, like, de-state, like, Defuncting all of our nuclear weapons. That's, actually. that's been talked about over the years. There was a group and they're really attracted to our nuclear sites. Well, yeah, the, they the make themselves known this, around there too. The theory is also to like stop them, so they're mm -hmm. like here to save us. That's the that is like the idea is that yeah. they they disarm them one time is what is what we've been told wow. through stuff like that. They this. know that we're gonna destroy ourselves, and they've been here before to help us build ourselves. So they come back to be like, don't be doing this shit. So they disarm them. So this guy's name is Lou Elizondo. He found he was the head of this group called A Tip, which was like investing in all this stuff in like the 2015s. Yeah. And Damn. he's giving he's able to give more testimony about this now because all of this information has come out in the past couple of years, and and now we have more specific information that's being released into the public. There's biological like. Bodies. Biologics. I know, I like how they said that. Yeah, when they say stuff like that, you just know they're just smart and they're dumb. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. And saying that it... Why couldn't they just them. say alien bodies? We've had them since before he was born is like wild shit. Cause before that's like, he was Well, born. that's like all the Roswell stuff, right? Like, yeah. Roswell's like in the 40s. Dude. So like, they, they basically made their presence really hella known after we launched nukes. 
during World War II. There's also it's another part of the theory again. A wild theory that they're not from out there. They're from underwater. In the earth. In, well, that's what David Fravor said, earth remember? Earth. Was, I, think, I think it makes sense, though. When Fravor was talking about the guy who was part of the fucking Navy team who was flying, he was talking about Joe Rogan, he said that the, he saw a craft come out of the water. Oh, that's yeah, the Tic Tac, right? comes out and it can yeah. move in any direction it wants. He said he saw something big coming out of the water. Wow. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Well, it wasn't a whale. I believe it. I think he would not. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't I think it was a whale. Maybe not. <laughs> was it a sperm what whale? If, what if he's the, Joe Rogan's like, oh, was it a whale? He's like, I think it was a whale. <laughs> you know what? My bad, dog. <laughs> that's, that's on me. He's like, that's my beat. Did you see the video? And I don't know if this one got debunked, um, but there was a video of a plane like a commercial plane. Yeah. And then there's those three things that were going around it. Yeah. And that's it the rumor is that's MH370, the flight that, that, that disappeared. That is the rumor, but yeah. was that debunked? So In there's terms a, of the way that there's it, like, a lot of warning to, um, like the Malaysian Airlines? Yeah, MH370, right? Dang. Yeah. People are saying that that was debunked many times because they found a, um, they found some kind of, you know how they, they had that wormhole part? In the video where it's like this purple wormhole forms like black purple wormhole thing forms and sucks the plane away yeah so there there's a, a guy who claims that he found that graphic from like a f earlier version of like photoshop or one of those uh, online yeah, yeah, yeah. things but then i saw i saw responses to that i did see that too so then that's what i'm saying it's hotly contested by people who know about the shit way more than i do wow so i i, I wouldn't say it's been debunked as far as i can understand but somebody else probably would know better than me. I do think it's fascinating that they have multiple angles of that same thing. Like, cause there's there's not just footage of that, the one that Anthony's talking about, there's another angle of it, completely separate angle wow. of it. And you can see it in thermal vision. And if you were going to, like if you watch Hollywood movies and shit like that, when you're working on a graphic, right, it takes so long to get that graphic, to do a different angle and to do it exactly the same way with the same like, like uh, patterns and shit like same that. perspective it's and just, all that. It just seems very, very oh ultra God. hard to do. And why would they do it so specifically that way? Is what people on the I believe the footage say. And then some other people say, dude, there's some people just have heavy, heavy autism out there. Because stuff like that is <laughs> yeah, like that is. it's like a thousand dollars a hard. second to recreate. You know, like certain like animation or CGI. Like if you were to recreate, it, it's like a thousand dollars a second. So if you were to have like. 15 seconds of footage, it's like $15,000. I also saw some shit about the clouds where they say the clouds are not moving, right? So people are like, well, the clouds wouldn't move. But then somebody was able to zoom in heavy, heavy on the clouds and show that they are actually moving wow. if you look at it, which is kind of even <clears throat> harder to do graphically because like now you have these moving clouds and if it's consistent between two different angles, that would be crazy. I don't know if that's true though. I remember, um, so you know, like in Hawaii, there's a lot of military bases. Right, so I was flying, I was island hopping on a little Cessna, and we saw like a military plane, and I was like, that's fucking cool. So I wanted to vlog it, and I was like recording it, and I was like, what the fuck does this have cloaking? Because there's no plane like when you when I'm looking in the camera. What the Shut fuck? The fuck up. No, it's fucking crazy. So the whole time I'm like playing it, back, it wasn't your I'm finger like, covering the it. lens or something. <laughs> like no, it was it was nuts, and then I'm like. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I see it with my eyes, Crazy. but there's gotta be some cloaking or some shit going on, right? So then, like, I fucking put it in my laptop and then I just, it was just so small, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't zoomed in enough. It was just zoomed in enough. <laughs> you had a far encounter, you had a very far encounter. I had a GoPro. Very far oh encounter. God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, on the, it was on the widest of angles. But I swear to God, in that moment, I was like, this is what they mean by military technology is like 40 years ahead. It's fucking cloaking, dude. I can see it with my this fucking- is, This is Joe's <laughs> perspective, and this is the window of the plane. It's so zoomed out, you saw the chairs, fucking other shit. Yeah. I was like, fuck, dude. I had to press against the glass, and I'm like, this is fucking crazy. And then when I blew up the footage like on my laptop, I'm like, oh, it's right there. <laughs> it uncloaked for you, though. That is crazy. I told you guys I saw a UFO. Yeah. What? Over Flagstaff, Arizona, oh, when yeah, I was yeah, moving yeah. here from Fairfax, Virginia. So uh, yeah, we saw it up in the sky and it looked like a street light, it was so fucking bright. And we thought it was a street light like for a second, like cause it's like, that's so bright. And then like, no, it's too, way too high to be a street light. And then you're just like staring at it for like, I don't know, probably 10 minutes or something like that. And then all of a sudden a cloud forms around it, like out of nowhere, it's a completely fucking blue sky. 
cloud forms around it, like a white cloud forms around it, and it sucks inside of itself, completely disappears. Wow. Dang. And it's gone. Not like a flare, it wasn't moving, it was just chilling. It was just like chilling in the middle of the sky. So do you believe in aliens then? I don't know if it's aliens, because it could be just us. Like using like high stuff. military grade shit. Yeah. I will say the very first time I saw a SpaceX rocket and didn't know SpaceX, I flipped the fuck out. Uh, yeah, you know because yeah, like that was the first time you saw space. like yep. the the <clears throat> giant like sperm fucking of the all scared, the yeah. all the fucking what do you call it the the yeah the the, 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 the blast of whatever the, the blast yeah. the blast yeah. But it just looks so crazy because you've never seen that before. And all of yeah. our growing up of seeing with spaceships and rockets and videos and movies and everything, yeah. you never saw this giant like it's like spraying all this shit in the atmosphere. Way, yeah. Have you guys seen the evolution of the SpaceX like rocket engine? Yeah, it's insane. It's like it starts off the first one has pipes and fucking meters and shit all over the place, and it's like this big, and then I think within a couple of years it went from something that's huge to something that's super streamlined. And I'm like, dude, and this is just Elon Musk's. Yeah, but he's not that. He's not that smart. Yeah, he just paid the guy he's pretty dumb. Yeah. yeah, he pays other people to do it. He's not it's not him actually engineering yeah. it. He doesn't know how that shit works. <laughs> yeah, well, how would he do that and then spend 44 billion on Twitter? Well, no, billion, billionaires are famous. always just exploiting the fucking hard work of other people. <laughs> I do think that aliens are real, though. A thousand motherfucking percent. Those aliens are exploiting us humans. But like when I saw that as a kid, it was just like so insane that. What's up? No, no, keep going. He's talking <laughs> shit. No, it's just because because my whole family saw it at the same time, and my grandmother at the same time. Wow. It wasn't. What did your grandma her. say? She was tripping out. Did she think it was an alien? Or did she say that's a Jesus? She thinks that there's all kinds of shit because my grandpa was in. You know did I mean? he tell her things? No, nah, my grandpa was in like he was a <laughs> lieutenant colonel in the, in the Marines though. Oh, he was a foot grunt. He no, he was a lieutenant colonel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel. He goes, oh, he's a foot <laughs> did, you, did you guys see that the dude who, very, like, very can call the orbs? The orbs? You know what I'm talking about? Like, he the just, like, he photos. just, like, channels, like, orbs, oh, and then shit. they did that, like... Wait, the guy at Brookstones? <laughs> like, nah, it makes shit float around? No. Nah. Oh. You talking about the guy at Brookstones? <laughs> no, not the guy at Brookstones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think they <laughs> <said> <laughs> there's a Brookstone at the mall anymore. <laughs> no, it's gone. No. He literally, like, just, like, channels orbs, and they went to go, like, film it. I think Nat Geo ended up, like, or National History or whatever the fuck, went to his house and, like, camped out to, like, film this thing, and then, like, orbs of light actually get summoned, and, like, it's the craziest thing. They, they like, it's a real deal. Uh, really? My yeah. grandpa worked for General Dynamics, which is, like, a defense contractor, <laughs> and he definitely Post, believes that. Post-military? Yep, that's what he worked. That's where he went after. Wow. Holy yeah. shit! Wow. I find it. You don't believe Ever me. Since? I know you don't believe me. Ever since I found out there's pyramids in Egypt and in South America, like this is probably like junior high or like elementary school. I'm like, there's no way these fucking dumbass loincloth people even <laughs> even com communicated with each other. I'm like, there has to have been a, uh, another being. Stupid fucks with wearing loincloth. Pre-ship era. Pre-ship era loincloth yeah. motherfuckers. Get close, right? Barely figured out what a wheel is. Probably still yeah. fucking their sisters and oh, shit. Yeah. I'm like, dude. Sacrificing babies. Oh, yeah. There's Jesus gotta Christ. be some. Slurping uh, water out of leaves and shit. <laughs> yeah. Chris Bledsoe. Chris Bledsoe? Look at Chris guy. Bledsoe. Oh shit, we're out of time. <laughs> Alright, later. <laughs>